scientists. We are going to do the estimation investigation. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay, before we do an estimation, we need to observe. Take a close look at the things inside your jar. Look at the jar from above. From below. Oh. Now I'm going to show you a special way to help you make your best estimate. Yay! All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're a scientist. You can try this too. It's the estimation investigation. Let's estimate how many balls are in this estimation jar. First, look at the balls in the jar really carefully. Look at them from the sides, the top, and the bottom. Now, here's a special way to help you make your best estimate. Open the jar and count out 10 balls. Hold the balls or just make a little pile in front of you. Take a good look at what a group of 10 balls looks like. Okay, put them back in the jar with the rest of the balls. Now, try making your best estimate of how many balls are in the jar. Think about how many groups of 10 you might have and write down your estimate in your journal. Now, let's count the balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. There are twenty-five balls in the jar. Now compare that to your estimate. You can try estimating how many things are in other jars, too, because now you know a way to help make your best estimate. Count out 10. Write down your estimate. Then count how many you really have. Now you're an estimation expert. Did everyone make an estimate, then count the things in your jar to see how many you really had? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Sure did. Did. Good <laughs> job, scientists. Oh, I can't wait to see what estimations you made. Sid, let's take a look at your journal first. Um, sure. Let's see. First, I counted out 10 seashells, so I knew I had more than that in the jar. Mm -hmm. Then I estimated there were 22 shells, and when I counted them, I found out there were 28 shells. Oh, oh that's a lot of shells. <laughs> and when I get home, I'm going to estimate how many shells I have in my whole bucket. Oh, great work, Sid. Thanks. Gabriella, would you like to go next? OK. Uh, I counted out 10 rocks, and I held them in my hand. And when I looked at the rocks in my hand, I thought I had a little bit more than that in my jar. Mm -hmm. So I estimated 15 rocks. And when I counted them out, there were 16 rocks. I was so close. Oh, nice job estimating, Gabriella and Sid. Thank you. I really like your pictures, too. <laughs> hey, um, estimating bouncing balls was really fun because they kept bouncing all over the place, like boing, 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 <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Whoa, one got out of the jar. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> okay, okay, Gerald. Well, I'm proud of all my scientists. You're becoming really good at estimating. I think it's time to play with all your new estimation skills. Yay! 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 Let's go, estimate. I want to know why things happen and how, and want to know everything now. Oh, yeah. How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change? 